In this equation, we'll find the type of reaction for BaCl2 plus Na2SO4. That's barium chloride plus sodium sulfate. When I look at this, I can see I have two ionic compounds here. That kind of makes me think it might be a double displacement reaction, sometimes called a double replacement reaction. Let's write the charges on these ionic compounds, see if that helps us out. So here's the periodic table, and we can see that barium, right here, Ba, that's going to be in, right here, group 2. So that has a 2 plus ionic charge. Chlorine, that's over here, that has a 1 minus, but we have two of them, so the two negatives, that cancels out the two positives. And then sodium, over here, has a positive. And then SO4, that's the sulfate ion. You should memorize that the sulfate ion, SO4, has a 2 minus ionic charge. Some teachers do let you look it up on a table of common polyatomic ions. Good one to memorize, though. So I can see now that the plus will go with the minus, and the minus and the plus, they come together. So double displacement, that sounds pretty good to me. Let's write the products. So the barium, the Ba, that's the metal, that will go with the SO4. And if we look at the charges here, we have a 2 plus and a 2 minus. So that works out. So that's a good formula for that compound. Plus the Na is going to go with the Cl. We always write the metal first. So the Na goes first. There's the chlorine. And plus and minus, that's a good formula for that. So we have our double displacement reaction. Let's clean things up and write the states. So for the states, I could have either memorized the solubility rules, or if I'm allowed, I can look it up on a solubility table. For barium chloride, chlorides are very soluble. We're going to write AQ for aqueous. That's going to be dissolved. Sodium compounds is sodium sulfate as well. Let's write a little AQ after that. And since they're the reactants, we kind of expect that they'll be dissolved in water. Barium sulfate, I'm not sure about, and I would want to look that up on a solubility table. Barium sulfate turns out to be insoluble. So we're going to write an S because it's going to be a solid. It's going to fall to the bottom of the test tube. So in addition to calling this a double displacement or replacement reaction, we could call it a precipitation reaction as well. And then sodium compounds, very soluble chloride. That's very soluble. Put a little AQ there, show it's dissolved in water. So this is the equation for BaCl2 and A2SO4. The type of equation is double replacement. Also, you could call it precipitation reaction. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.